Hi, welcome to Patriot Woodworks and Crafts. Today we're going to talk about setting up your DAC board for the very first time. For this video, I'm going to assume that you already have a DAC board login. If not, please see our other video on how to create and edit a DAC board account. Let's log in. Again, in our other video, we talked about how to set up your screen. When starting your DAC board for the very first time, there's a bit of information that you need to get to set it up properly. This will make your setup very easy. Go to your screen, click Edit, go to Settings and Default, and this private URL. This you'd like you need to copy. Copy to your clipboard. Copy the private URL and open up a word processing. It could even be Notepad. Paste that URL and we're going to save that for later. This URL is required to set up your DAC board. Next, we're going to switch over to plugging in your DAC board for the very first time. Now we're going to plug our DAC board screen in for the very first time. So, apply power. I'm videoing this screen so you can see in real time everything that your DAC board is going to do the first time you plug it in. It takes a minute or two for everything to load. Please be patient. If you feel comfortable with the setup, please feel free to scroll past the initial setup until you get to the instructions. Once you see this screen on your DAC board screen, the computer, the, the Raspberry Pi computer is broadcasting an SSID or a Wi-Fi signal that's named DAC board dash zero in step one. And the password is below. Connect your computer, tablet, or phone to that Wi-Fi network and then type in the password. Once you're connected, go to a web browser and type http colon backslash backslash 10.0.0.5. This is going to open up another web page connecting your device that you're this the device that you're logging into directly with the DAC board screen. From there, you're going to connect it to the Wi-Fi so the DAC board screen can work autonomously without you needing to connect it with your phone. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. At this point, we've just plugged in our DAC board screen and we've received the four instructions on the, on the display. Step one is connect to your, the DAC board Wi-Fi. So let's open up, connect to the DAC board Wi-Fi. I've connect, connected to this before and the password's already input. If you've not, never connected before, it's going to prompt you for the password. Please type in the password that was shown on the board previously, which is DAKB5142. For the initial setup, this password should be the same for everyone. After you've connected, step two is to open a browser, which I'm already in. I'm going to type in HTTP colon, colon backslash backslash 10.0.0.5. Okay, so we followed step one, two, and three was to plug in the information um, on our laptop, tablet, or phone. Um, once you press save, the DAC board screen is gonna lose Wi-Fi connection because you've connected it to a different network. So you need to cycle the power by unplugging it. Wait a few seconds. 
and then plug it back in. The DAC board screen is going to boot up again. And again, I'm showing you this in real time so you can see exactly how long it should take. And you can see the Wi-Fi icon in the top right corner. Once that's solid blue, that indicates that your DAC board is connected to the Wi-Fi network. If you don't have a solid Wi-Fi, a solid blue icon, that may mean that you typed in your password incorrectly. And this is the DAC board that we've set up. Now, since it's on a larger screen than we were using to put the initial settings in, you can see that the text and everything, uh, the icons are, are fairly small. We can adjust these uh, once we connect our, we, we can adjust these uh, shortly. And we'll make these adjustments by going to the dacboard.com and using our login. Now change the settings around a little bit. I increase the text size to two times large, 2XL. And I also included the RSS feed for the NOAA weather, um, which indicates that there are no active watches, warnings, or advisories for the area. Be advised that the free version of Dacboard will upload changes to either your calendar, your to-do list, um, or any modifications that you have on the website, it takes about an hour for those to load up. So please be patient for the free version. If you'd like everything to um, upload upload to the DAC board much faster, uh, take a look at DAC board's uh, paid subscriptions. Thank you for watching.